¿Qué tal, muchachos? Y Sala here with the Truck Boss Show next to my friend, Nikki. Hey, everyone. How's it going? So, you already know that Truck Boss Show is always super busy. We're always on the go, but we always bring the good stuff, Nikki. Did we not have a lot of fun this year? Yes. We were just recently at GATS, the Great American Truck Show, down in Dallas, Texas, and it was so much fun. It was a lot of work, but very rewarding. Yes, it was. A lot of new things that happened this year with other new stuff that they had there at the event, and as well as Truck Boss Show, bringing down the house with our... Bossa Palooza. That's right. Bossa Palooza is where we give awesome entertainment. We give away swag. We do live interviews. We meet all kinds of new people and just get connected. And so that's what we're all about here at the Truck Boss Show is bringing industry, hot topics, news, getting connected with people and connecting other people. That is so true. And you know, this year we made a lot more friends. I feel like we're all like a, I, I, we're part of the, the trucking family, you yes, know. The we know so many people. Brotherhood. Yes, I feel like we can call awesome. ourselves a part of that. Yes, we can. But Nikki, what do we always do at the beginning of our show? We always like to bring you news and hot topics in the trucking industry. So we're just going to start right now. What do you have, Isela? That's right, Nikki. And of course, with the FMCSA being open for public, asking the drivers and the public for commenting, one of the topics that they have right now is the hours of service. Now, the FMCSA proposes revisions to certain hours of service in order to provide greater flexibility for drivers that are subject to the hours of service rules without adversely affecting safety. Now, so far, there's been 5,906 comments, and here are some of them. Here we have Roy. The half-hour break change is good. All the other changes will not help me in any day-to-day -day runs. Scott, 30-minute mandatory breaks should be allowed to be divided into three evenly blocks of time and be able to be on duty or not driving. James, been doing it for 30 years. These regulations are now the most difficult the human body can adjust to. Now we do have a safety professional, Joel. He says, 30 minutes is irrational. As a safety professional, I'm asking for you to remove it. Nikki, we already know that, of course, this is great. 5,000 you know, some comments is awesome. That lets us know that people are commenting, but we do, I would say that we wanna have people, you know, you go tell, spread the word with everybody else. Exactly. If and all the truckers that we have in this nation and there's only 5,900 comments, I mean, come on now. If you want to make a difference, if you want your voice to be heard, you've got to get on there and you have to comment on it in order for them to make these changes. They need your input. And it doesn't have to be just truckers. It can be anybody. So tell your anybody. sister, your cousin, your friends, your mom, your brother, your uncle. Because somebody's a driver in the family. Somebody's yeah, exactly. And right now, I think that it is it a great opportunity that the FMCSA is opening these this up for Absolutely. commenting Absolutely. because they they are wanting to make a change that doesn't mm -hmm. mean it's going to happen tomorrow let's be realistic but they're working on making those changes so Isela if they want to go on there and comment work what website can they go to do that all you have to do is go to regulations.gov and make your comments speak your mind do it now but we'll also be listing the link below so now's your chance that's right so moving on, Truck Boss Show had the opportunity to go down to GATS, the Great American Truck Show down in Dallas, Texas over the past weekend. Truck Boss Show had the honor of hosting Boss 90 Exchange, where a panel of industry experts from Trucker Nation, USTA, FMCSA, and some owner operators discussed hot topics in trucking right now, such as hours of service, driver training, and much more. A lot of our audience thinks that the FMCSA is in bed with ATA. Well, when we addressed that with Joe DeLorenzo from the FMCSA, his thoughts were pretty shocking to our audience, and I think that you will find it, his response very interesting as well. But if you didn't have a chance to catch it, don't worry. You can catch those under videos on our Facebook and YouTube page, and it's under Boss 90 Exchange. Very insightful information. You don't want to miss out. Isela, that was such uh, an intriguing conversation. I it learned was. so much. It was it was pretty awesome to kind of just see them go back and forth. And I'm glad that they were able to be very upfront yes. with their questions and their responses. And no one was being hateful or negative or anything no, like that. Everything was in a very, positive they conversation. Were being very positive. candid yes. and honest. And they, you know, they answered a lot of questions I think that a lot of the truckers had. 
Yeah, and, and that also gives, um, you know, our followers and our viewers a whole different, um, I guess, hopefully it's giving them a whole different, you know, a view of how things are working. And maybe some people feel that nothing's getting done, but it does take a little bit of time. Right, exactly. And who you think maybe the bad guys aren't necessarily the bad guys. They're yes. all here to help the industry I promise so yes especially now a lot of a lot of changes are going to be coming and I'm and I'm glad that the FMC is really trying to get everyone else's input and opinion and hear them out exactly so moving forward we had a really good segments for you this week and Isela who did you have the opportunity to talk to yes I actually had the opportunity to have a conversation with our uh, Pride and Polish winners of GATS 2019 known as Showtime Eric and Stacy Turner you know what, uh, power couple, they're a team, and if you don't believe me, check it out for yourself. How's it going, Isela here with the Truck Boss Show. Well, I'm standing next to the winner who took it all, took it home today here at Gats 2019 with Eric and his wife, Stacey Turner. I promise I kept seeing him go on stage over and over and over, and I said, oh my God. But I do know that it takes a lot to get these trucks ready, and so I'm just gonna let Eric and his wife explain a little bit about all the, the 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 work that they had to put in today so tell me how long have you been driving for one um i've been driving since 1999 so what's that 20 22 23 years right around, yes, somewhere right around yes. there, yeah so 23 years so now have you been uh, car hauling I, all i ever known was car hauling car That's, i started off car hauling and it's all i ever known is car hauling well, let me tell you, thank you so much for your, for everything that you do. Mad respect to all our drivers, and I always say that all the time. I guess our people on the show are probably like, "Oh my God, there she goes again." Because <laughs> I just I think it's 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 very hard work what you guys do. So thank you so much. And now tell me about prepping your truck up today. How did that? How did uh, that, that go? Actually, it started. This is pretty much like a five day process for us to get it going, ready for the Pride and Polish show because we know how the Pride and Polish show is all about being clean, the cleanest truck out here as a working truck. So we start with Renegade products. Everything we use is Renegade products. So Renegade products, we use everything it has. And all we do is come in here, clean, clean, clean. I mean, from the front of the truck to the back of the truck, underneath the truck, every corner, every spot, everything you can crack, every, every, you can even touch on it, it got clean with Renegade products. So is that where you come in? Yes, <laughs> what, we do, what we do with the truck, Eric takes the tractor, I take the trailer and check each other's work to see how clean the truck is. And then we go back over it again on the, before the uh, show ends or before rags down, which is usually the day when the judges start judging the truck, we go through and we clean it. So it's a process, we wash it, and we come in and we start cleaning it. And we go through every piece of this truck. You can actually eat off our truck. Oh my God, that's, that's how clean it is. So this is teamwork. Yep. teamwork. That's real teamwork. teamwork. Couple goals right yeah. there. <laughs> Teamwork and a lot of communication. Yeah. And yep. like, he's like, really, you found something? I'm like, really, I found something. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, it's hard because we want the best for our truck. So we put each other against, going against the team, making sure each side is clean. So it's a lot of teamwork. So how long have you guys been doing this? Huh, four or five years. In the four, show, in the show, show, in the show part of it, yeah. you know, four or five years or so. And yeah. our first show was 2016 when we did it. And then we went to the show and they was like, oh no, you're not going to watch the show. You're going to up there with the big boys. And I'm like, like no, no, like, I don't have no choice to go to the big boys. Nobody I don't even know that. nothing about none of this stuff. Like, I'm all scared and everything. Yeah. They was like, no, 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 you need to go with the big boys and try to, you know, see what you can do. And I'm like, okay. And got hooked in our blood and this is what we've been doing ever since then. Tell me about your awards today. What all did you take home? Cause this is a lot. This is a lot. Let's start off with the, with this the best of show, the best of show combo. It's pretty much is the, the award that you get for the best of show of everything. Of everything. So it all goes about with points. We got first place in interior, first place with the paint scheme of the truck, first place with the engine, of the truck mm -hmm. and third place with the sleeper the inside of the truck so everything is considered as points so once they add up all the points that's when you become the best to show the as the best of the to show best. Of the yeah. best of the best but this is the best of the show truckers choice is well this was a shocking to us this is what people that has came around through the whole show for the last two days they vote on the best truck that they think is out here and that's where they get the best of show truckers choice so that means everybody who came and voted, they thought my truck was the best truck 
here at the show. Well, you know what? All I heard was the best truck. <laughs> he he took it all, you know, award after award after award after award, and I think is amazing. Thank you. So again, thank you so much for what you do. Love the, the the power cap the power couple. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, and we do see that a lot in this industry, and that's yeah. pretty amazing, especially when. You know, there's a lot of support, and yep, it's yep. not easy. Yep, I know yep. it's not. No, it's you know? not easy, because I ain't going to lie. We got in a bunch of arguments cleaning this truck, so it I did happen. It. I it. <laughs> it did happen. We were like, teamwork came now. We was like, well, you missed the spot. Well, you missed the spot, too. So, yeah. Well, let, let me show you how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is how you clean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, we wanted to say thank you for taking the time to want to interview us. No, yes. thank you, guys. Yeah. It is um, a family business this is the any truck show is a family everything that people you meet is amazing these are friends for life yeah you know, that's so true we're thankful for everybody that we meet when we come to these shows and the relationships that we keep with the people we've met and um it's just you gotta have a passion that's you true have, you gotta have the passion to do this because it's an amazing uh event to be along to yeah. it's true that's right. I, I agree with you 100%. Well, congratulations on Thank all your you. winnings Thank today. You. Thank, Thank you so you much, much, Stacey and Thank Eric. You very much. Thank you. And that's it here for the Truck Boss Show here at Gats 2019. A big thanks to Eric and Stacey. You know what? Let me tell you, Nikki, they actually take the time. It, I know it's a lot of hard work for these people to get their trucks ready and everything. When they said, you can actually eat off our trucks. Yeah. I said, um, <laughs> that sounds kind of weird. But you know what? It, I'm glad that they give an insight of what all it takes to do everything right. that they and have to do. And I love how they said that the number one thing is communication, that they communicate yes. with each other. And I think that goes a long ways, too, with not just cleaning trucks, but the relationship, too. And it just goes to show how awesome teamwork can be, and they, they and, rocked it at the and show. And this is a husband so and wife. congratulations Husband again. and wife. Yes. And for them to say communication is a key is awesome because communication yes. is a key in everything. It is Absolutely. <laughs> I 100% agree. So what did you get to do? So moving on, we had the opportunity to talk with our new friend, Courtney Peace, who is a fleet owner and artist, about some struggles that he has dealt with in the trucking industry as a fleet owner, as well as what art means to him and his passion behind it. So check Courtney out. Hey everyone, Nikki here with the Truck Boss Show. Today we are joined by our new friend, Courtney Peace, fleet owner and artist. Thanks for joining us today, Courtney. Thank you for having me, Nikki. Absolutely. So Courtney, how long have you been a fleet owner and how many trucks do you have? I've been a fleet owner for, it's going on four years now, and I own four trucks. Why trucking? My girlfriend, fiance, she said, baby, you need to try to maybe jump into trucking to see if we can make some money. <laughs> And that's how I started off. Then how long ago was that? Oh, it was about close to six years ago. Yeah, we started off uh, leasing on to other companies. And then after a few years, I was like, well, let me go ahead and let me try to do my own thing, get my own company. So I got my authority and then we've been running ever since. What are some of the biggest struggles that you and your fiance face as fleet owners? <sighs> Maintenance and good truck drivers. Those Hard are, to find. Those are the keys, yeah. Good maintenance. Make sure you have some good mechanics that can work on your truck because no matter what kind of truck you have, it's going to have some problems. And uh, then if you have some good drivers that know how to take care of your truck, that's, that's key. What do you like most about being a fleet owner? I love the freedom. It's not just like a typical nine to five, you know. I mean, I wake up pretty early. I wake up by 5.30 in the morning. But a lot of my days are over with by, by 12 noon. Well, that's nice. Yeah, right. <laughs> So what advice would you give somebody who's thinking about getting their CDL? Go for it. Shoot, definitely go for it. The trucking industry, I feel like it's a, a very good industry. And if you put your mind to it, you can be very successful. Um, it's not as easy as people just think it is. Like most things, people see things and they think, oh, they doing it. It's just easy. No, it's a lot of work into it. But if you're willing to put the work behind it, I feel like anybody, anybody that comes into the trucking industry, whether you're a, a truck owner or um, a truck driver, you can make a good life for yourself. Perseverance and just dedication yeah. is key. And it goes with everything. Why did you start painting? What, what was your inspiration? I've actually been drawing my entire life. I had a very bad situation to where I had to use art as my escape. So when I was 18, um, I came home from the military and was riding with some friends. And to make a long story short, I ended up going to prison for a crime I didn't commit. So. I spent 12 years inside of prison and for 12 years I used to read, work out and paint every day. And that was my escape from being in the place where I was at. 
I know that you paint with your hands. I know that you mentioned that you, you're able to paint with anything, but you choose to paint with your hands. Why? When I was in prison, I didn't really have a lot of material to paint with. So that's kind of how I started painting pastels on my hands and watercolors. As now, when I paint, it's like therapy for me now. Like, I love the feel of painting and the canvas against my hand, or really, even, even when I paint on wood. I just love the feel of it. And then I feel like it just gives more meaning to it. Like, it's more soulful. Who are some artists that you admire and why? I admire every artist. And I, I say that, I mean, in every field of artistry because it's expression. So artists like freedom, no matter if you're a poet or singer or dancer, it's like whatever your art is, your craft. And I know if anyone is true to it, like how I feel when I'm painting, that it just gives you a freedom that can't be touched like anything else in life. It's just, it's some kind of just pure freedom that comes with being an artist. What do you hope for people to feel or think when they see your art? I hope they appreciate it, of course, um, as, as our artists do. Um, and I hope just knowing the fact of how, how I create it, that they actually feel the work I put into it to make it come to life. So how long does it usually take you to finish one piece? Oh, it's different times. I've had paintings take me uh, months to finish. I've had paintings take me six hours to finish. Just depending on how you feel or where the inspiration is coming from. What satisfaction or expression do you derive from your art? Like, what does your art mean to you? It's freedom. It means freedom for me and peace. Like, because when I'm sitting with a, a piece of work, a piece of canvas, I'm just at peace. I'm at an ultimate peace. And if you see, like, actually watch me work, You'll see, like, I'm just zoned out and I'm in my own world. Courtney, what can people uh, look forward to seeing with your art in the next coming year? Um, they can see me grow. They can see me reach out to any place that I'm invited to to showcase my art. And um, I'm trying to make my stamp as an artist in this world. Well, where can they go to see your art if they're interested in your work? Um, I have my website, CourtneyPeaceTheArtist.com, and Facebook, Peace Peace, or Instagram, Courtney Peace the Artist. If you're interested in finding Courtney's art, you can check out all of those platforms to see all his amazing work. And thank you so much, Courtney. We appreciate everything you do, and we definitely have enjoyed seeing all of your work. Thank you, Nikki. So we'll see you on the next Truck Boss Show. A big thanks to Courtney and his fiance. We had a wonderful time meeting with you and learning a little bit more about your art and getting to see all of your art. I very had talented. so much fun Very with talented. Courtney and his fiance. No, they're awesome people. Another power team couple yes, or what another is power, power couple. couple yes yes they they you know what she was there it just shows the support that she has given mm -hmm. him throughout the years in his um with being a fleet owner and also being an artist because yes. that takes a lot so he's a very talented individual and if you want to check out his artwork go check out his website it's 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 it'll blow you away like it's yes. really really awesome work but how we mentioned Bossa Palooza, you yes. already know, Trek Boss Show is always bringing down the house. We always bring the fun to you no matter where we go, whether it's there in person or on our social media pages. Doesn't matter, we're gonna have a blast. Bossa Palooza will be present and a lot more events coming up. We're gonna be at the Big Bandit Race Series. Yes, Big Bandit is having their finale in Bristol, Tennessee in October and Bossa Palooza will be there. We're gonna be going live, we're gonna be bringing you the races it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. It's so exciting. Yes, and we're hoping also, um, I think we're going to be going to Portland as well. We yes, got Portland, a, Oregon. With those guys. I think they're very yes, talented. Yes, Speed Garage, That a bunch of stuff from those guys are going to come to you soon. So you don't want to miss out. You want to stay tuned right here with the Truck Boss Show. And also, you know, we've got to meet a lot, a, a lot of people when we were at Gats. And one of my faves was um, the Roland with Texas Chrome. Yes, at Speed Speaking of Chrome, and yes. I mean, and, but speaking of Chrome, Chrome where are we going to be? We are it seems like be, I can't talk today. So I know, right. we're <laughs> just dry mouth over here. We are going to be up with our friends in Joplin at Four States with the Chrome Shop Mafia. We're going to be bringing you awesome stuff from them as well. Uh, like we said, Truck Boss Show is everywhere. We're and we're going to continue go. to be everywhere. Yes, we are. We're on the go. We're always bringing whatever we can, whatever's going on in the industry, new stuff. And one of the interesting things that um, I know that we're going get to get the opportunity to do is going to be um, a museum. Yes, Antiques. the Historical Museum in Kansas City, Missouri. Yes, that's going to be pretty neat because, I mean, it's antiques. And then, of course, trekking has been around forever. Yes, and, it goes and the history back and is back. so yes. And to get to learn intriguing. all that. Yes. yes, so we're going to have a lot more coming to you because the year's not over, okay? And nope. we're still on a roll. That's right, Isela. So don't forget why we do this. 
because you're the boss.